hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel i know i have been on a long break but now i am back with more and more spicy gist if you're new to my channel my name is sa please don't forget to subscribe while watching my video give this video a thumbs up and don't forget your thoughts will be needed in the comment section over to our gist of the day james brown has finally followed the steps of his mentor or let me say rival he has decided to enhance his hips through surgery, or let me say, he used enhancement oil. He was seen in a video flaunting his newly made hips. Well, you guys need to see the video. Following the Big Brother Niger show, I can say Saga has become the main topic of the show as it shows his endless love for Nii. Like, which guy would cry for a lady nowadays? Well, we'll be looking at the issue from two perspectives. Is Saga fooling around or should we give their love a chance? We'll get into the stories, but before that, please enable to subscribe. Nigerians have dragged popular cross dresser James Brown after he was spotted dancing with actress in Kechi Blessing Sunday. In the video, the cross dresser and self acclaimed Princess of Africa was spotted vibing to a song and dancing with in Kechi Blessing Sunday. The video has sparked hilarious reactions on social media as fans react to the abnormal position of his hips. In another news, James Brown recently stormed the movie premiere with his maiden spraying flowers on the floor for him. The crossdresser said he had to do it to make his fans aware that he is truly a princess. Well, here is the video. <laughs> Princess of Africa is looking on fleek. If some point, what's your take on these guys? Ada Palok, the baby mama of the Grammy winner, Whiskey, has reacted after he revealed his intention of getting a wife in his music tower. Recently, Whiskey, in a post he made on his Instagram page, asserted that he would seize the golden opportunity presented to him by his music tower to search for a life partner as well. The news, however, spread like wildfire all over the social media space, which triggered the reaction from Jada Padlock, who doubles as his manager also. Jada stated that his assertion wasn't real as people thought it was. In an Insta toy session, she wrote, Keep in your zone. Not everything you think is real is real. Well, I think baby mama wants to be a wife on a low. Well, it seems Whiskey has other plans to get a wife. Let me know what you think about this, guys. Now, over to our main internet story. One of the viewers identified as Abiola as opined that Saga and Nini deserve to be winners of the grand prize for the Big Brother Niger show. He took to his Instagram page to acknowledge the tremendous effort the deal had put into the show to make it lively and for all the content they bring to the viewers of the reality TV show. Here's what he wrote on his Instagram page. Saga and Nini been carrying this year's Big Brother on their back for a while now. In my opinion, one of them deserves to win. They are the content, the only content. Hmm. And this guy is actually bringing a suggestion that Nini and Saga are just faking the whole thing. Hmm. Well, I'm kind of speechless. Let me know what you guys think about this. Twitter user Dr. Olufu Milayo has dragged BB Ninja housemate Saga over his attitude following the disappearance of fellow housemate Nini. Saga, who couldn't find Nini after a serious search for her, broke down in tears as he begged Big Brother to bring her out. Reacting to Olufu Milayo wrote, Anyone with a brain in a game show should know Nini is definitely not dead, not kidnapped, and not killed. At best, it's a tax she's doing. At worst, it's just biggest plan. She's definitely fine. Saga's tears is not from a place of love. It is from a place of deep foolishness. A grown adult man is crying over someone else's girlfriend, a relationship she made him fully aware of. Yet, a grown man is rolling in tears over that, and some of you label it as love. <laughs> the glamorization and romanticization of foolishness never ceases to amaze me. 
well i really support him shall i feel saga is a bit more obsessed and i really don't blame him because it happens when you get to spend time with only one person every day and about nini's boyfriend outside well i don't know when they get out of the house we'll know what's up and who nini is going to end up with let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section popular crush dresser bob risky has slammed actress shenwun osigbe son after the latter criticized him over a recent interview he had. The self-acclaimed richest girl in Nigeria had an interview with Chude Chidonwo, where he disclosed his reasons for striving so hard to be a woman. According to Bob Risky, when he was a man, he used to be rejected and snubbed by all because he had no money. The cross-dresser went out to state that women do not know the kind of power they have at their disposal and consequently don't know how to make good use of it. Bobuski noted that being a woman has paved a lot of ways for him. However, this interview didn't go down well with actress Shenwun Osibeson, who took to her Instagram page to blast the crush dresser while calling on the judgment of God to catch up with Bobuski for misleading innocent souls. Shenwun Osibeson wrote, I am so disgusted right now. I have never done this on my page. I have never taken to my social media to speak against anyone other than the Nigerian government. But this right here sucks. This man is a disgrace to manhood. What does he know about being a woman? And what exactly does he mean by I use what I have to get what I want? What exactly is he preaching about being a woman? Does he mean being a man means being a slave? I really do not understand this. What exactly is he preaching? May the judgment of God come upon you for choosing to be an agent of the devil and misleading innocent lives. I want to be a woman because being a woman has paved a lot of ways for me. Well, Bob Risky on his part, who doesn't treat trolls leniently, wasted no time to fire back with a wicked write-up. Sharing a photo of the address Bob Risky wrote, Hey, clap for yourself. I don't know you before now, but now I can always recognize you from afar with your fat nose like that of a cow. Well done, ma. I might have promised not to fight anyone and mind my business, but that doesn't mean I will take nonsense talk from your dirty opinion about me. No one is forcing you to like me or know me, but keep my topic out of your dirty mouth. If you have any opinion about me, let it die inside you. Never in your life post me on your page because you have finally crossed the path and your punishment is dragging in your whole life on my page. Remember, I have a larger audience to drag your life here. Next time, feel free to skip a post about me or else be ready for me. I am not going to tag you because I'm not ready to give you free publicity. If you need one, it's not expensive. Just 500k, I'll tag you. I'll be waiting for your reply so I can eat you other on my next post full. Well, that was a very pretty harsh reply from Bob Risky. Normally, Bob Risky doesn't take those kind of words against him. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section. Well, over to the end of the gist for today. I've got more love info for you guys. Well, these days, relationships have been having a lot of bad moves these days. A news have been aired on the internet that a man called off his wedding after finding out his wife slept with his best man. A Twitter user identified as Sugar Baby has narrated how a man called off his wedding after finding out that his fiance had an affair with his best man. While planning wedding, the heartbroken man discovered that his wife to be and his best man had sexual relations in the past and he couldn't control his emotions so he quickly called off the wedding. According to Sugar Baby, the man called off his wedding after a length of his fiancé's and best man past escapades. Apparently, he found out a date to their wedding that his bride-to-be had slept with the best man years before she met him. The tweet reads, laugh my ass out. So this guy called off his wedding because his wife-to-be had sexual relationship with his best man years before they even met. Here are some comments from the story uncle lordon said was he aware before the commitment bella didn't said laugh my ass out nope he found out a day to their wedding uncle lordon replied well then he's justified they can decide to get married later but he needs to process his feelings Y.O. said yup 
It's something they should have told him. Obelaum said, What happened in the East? Baba ended marriage of two weeks when he found out when he found out that best man and wife once dated in the past. Nobody said now when wife and husband Sabio. This was way before they met. Uncle Chuk said, So it's okay for the man to find us after wedding. What were they discussing during courtship? Sosa said, Man said, Now can't be marrying your ass if they cost me my respect. Ouch. Zeke said, On God. The optimist replied, She should have told him, and if the guy wasn't his best man, I don't think he would have cut it off. So, guys, what do you think about this? Was it right for the man to call off the wedding? Or he should have just gone on with it based on the thing happened ways back. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Alright guys, that will be all for now. Please and please don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comment section. Adios.